I just watched a live stream from Ezoic and they went over five different ways that you can increase your revenue on their platform. This is very valuable information, especially going into quarter four of this year where you can expect the highest incomes of the year. If you haven't checked out that live stream yet, I definitely recommend giving it a look. I'll leave it in the description box below. This is where I'm getting all my information from for this video. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is Ezoic Leap. So in the live stream, Iona Lafreno, a level four Ezoic published manager, really emphasized the importance of using Ezoic Leap. In my opinion, this is basically an upgrade of the previous site speed accelerator, which is basically just a better version of that, and it's also free. According to an Ezoic questionnaire, most publishers strive to improve their web core vitals this year. We surveyed hundreds of publishers at the beginning of 2021, and we said, what is your goal for this year? <laughs> About 95% of them said core web vitals. Google is, seems to be really focusing on that this year. So that's what a lot of people want to improve. Ezoic Leap will help you increase your site speed by giving improvements and suggestions to make your site better. It also has a new way to display ads on your website. So it's done server side over the cloud, which is a much faster way to do it than previous before. Setting up and using Ezoic Leap is pretty easy and straightforward. However, if you're not confident in doing it yourself, there's a button you can press to have a Ezoic specialist do it for you. I recommend everyone on Ezoic platform to use this service. Your site will be much faster, and as a result, your revenue should increase. Real quick, if you appreciate the video so far, go ahead and tap that like button. Also, after the video is over, let me know down in the comments down below which of these five methods you like the most and which one you will try to use first. Now back to the video. Another way that you can increase your Ezoic revenue is through video ads. This one really interests me and I actually set this up last week, so I'm interested to see the results of this one. You can add your own videos onto the platform, but there's also a feature on Ezoic where you can import videos from YouTube. So you just connect your YouTube account and it will automatically import videos from YouTube onto Ezoic, and then you can use those videos as video ads on your website. You can create video ad placeholders with the Ezoic plugin and it's super simple. These videos will then show up on your articles and they will play mid-roll ads just like YouTube does. These videos will also start to rank on Google, so it should, in theory, bring more traffic to your website. Also, Iona Lafreno mentions that these videos should also improve your SEO because having these videos on your articles should improve the engagement overall. It helps with SEO. So any pages that have a video on them are seen better in Google's eyes. And that's because there's increased engagement. So when you upload it to Ezoic's video player, we're going to create a unique URL for that video. So when users are searching for best chocolate chip cookie recipe, it's actually going to show in that video search result page. All of this sounds like a win-win to me. Also provided this chart here where it shows that with video ads alone, one of her publishers are actually making around $60 per day just from video ads alone. And I put video ads on one of my websites and so far I'm making around $2 per day. So hopefully that increases for me. Um, I'm probably not getting as many views on my website overall as this person, but still $2 per day, an extra 60 to 100 bucks a month is pretty nice for just a few minutes of work. Another way to improve your revenue on Ezoic is with the WordPress plugin. So a new feature added by Ezoic is the ability to auto-generate Ezoic ad placements onto your website. Previously, you had to use the Ezoic Chrome extension to manually put ad placements onto your website. But now, with just a simple click of the button, you can generate a bunch of ad placeholders. And the more placeholders you have on your website, the more opportunity you have to make more money. These placeholders will also be hard coded onto your website, unlike with the Chrome extension where it clings onto the HTML. Basically, what this means is if you change things on your website, such as change the theme, all the placeholders should still work on your website. Also, the WordPress plugin can work cooperatively with the Chrome extension. What this means is you won't have to delete any of your previously created placeholders. You can use this in conjunction with each other. Everyone should do this. Just download the Zoic WordPress plugin, click the generate ad placements. When I did it, I generated like 50 or 60 new placeholders on top of the placeholders that I already had. So now my website has a bunch of placeholders, which means more opportunity to make more money. Once you add the placeholders, you'll want to clear the cache and then just check your website in an incognito browser to make sure everything is good. More placeholders means Ezoic has more places that they can test ads on your website and find the most optimal position. So overall, this should increase your RPMs and your revenue per month. Something interesting mentioned in the live stream that I didn't even know about, but I'm definitely going to check out is this feature called CDN caching. Whenever I made a lot of changes to my website in the past, I would have to go to Ezoic and completely delete all the cache which is that's actually no longer necessary and is actually a bad thing to do to your website because it slows it down for a while and will decrease your traffic and your income. So what this feature does is whenever you make a change to an article or a web page, 
it'll automatically recache that single page rather than deleting all the cache on your website. It'll just be that one page. Iona Lafreno also showed this chart here comparing the cache hit to the cache miss. What this means is if your website doesn't have cache, then your average page engagement goes down, your page engagement rate goes down, and your RPMs, look at this, $5 compared to $11. So this is cache hit, this is cache miss. So clearly, when you have cache enabled, your RPMs are nearly doubled. So if you're making a change to your website and you're deleting all the cache, to see those changes, you're gonna have a lot of cache misses. So this is really bad for your RPMs. So enabling this CDN manager will automatically recache just the one page that you changed and the rest of your website will be fine and your RPMs will increase. So whatever you do, make sure you're using cache on your website or you're leaving money on the table. Adding an ads.txt file to your website is also super important to increase your RPMs. This was also mentioned on the live stream and they provided this chart here where right here on the chart is where they added the ads.txt file and you can see the EPMVs ever since then increase massively. So this is a really e easy thing to set up and your RPMs will increase just from doing this one thing. So on Ezoic, they make it super simple to add this file to your website. You'll just go to the ads.txt file manager, click create ads.txt file for me, and then click save, easy as that. All this does is add information to your website that makes it more appealing to advertisers. I don't know the logistics, all I know is that ads.txt equals more money, so you gotta do it. This was a great live stream and I'm definitely glad that I checked it out. If you haven't watched it yourself, I'd highly recommend it. There's more in-depth information there, so I'll link that video down below. I also recommend checking out whatever this video is. It must be important because it was recommended by YouTube. If you don't think this video is important, let me know down below in the description box below, and also tell me what video it is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.